lots of us had a great time again. It looks like we'll have more fun soon. And you'll see why I'm saying this, because Dwayne Johnson keeps doing awesome things, like the successful Jumanji sequel and breaking the curse of bad video game movies with Rampage. Rampage roared into theaters in 2018, and despite a video game adaptation with a giant gorilla, made over $101 million, domestic box office even with mixed reviews. Dwayne The Rock Johnson's unstoppable appeal played a big role. Globally, Rampage ranks over $428 million, surpassing its $120 million budget. Now I'm sharing these numbers because they're important for what comes next. The director, Brad Payton, mentioned in an interview that they've already created a complete world for the movie, which makes a sequel much easier. He likes to make things bigger and better in each project. Some ideas that couldn't fit in the first Rampage might be used in Rampage 2. She's in control, this is Atkins. Something went wrong with the test. The crew is dead. Athena, all integrity is critical. Head to the escape capsule. Also, franchises tend to keep going strong. The video game that inspired the movie had five sequels. One of them even at a space lab level, possibly inspiring Rampage's opening scene. In the game, players control the monsters, destroying buildings and causing chaos. While it's unsure if the sequel will have a monster's point of view, the game's shift from destruction to revenge against creators could be an interesting angle. So, a sequel combining both ideas could be exciting for fans. On the other hand, in an interview addressing Dwayne Johnson's busy schedule, there's a discussion about how actors must carefully choose movie sequels due to limited time. Johnson, known for committing to franchises he's passionate about, like Fast and the Furious and Jumanji, emphasizes the importance of storytelling. Despite studio partners expressing interest in sequels for various movies, including Rampage, Johnson remains selective, focusing on telling diverse stories. The challenge lies in balancing the desire for sequels with the need for variety in projects. If Johnson followed every sequel request, he would be constantly working. The interview highlights his strategic approach to choosing projects that align with his passion and availability. Now, let's recap the first movie's plot to understand the potential for a sequel. The film centers on George, a transformed gorilla, along with other mutated creatures causing chaos. Dr. Carrie Atkins, a scientist, aims to reverse mutations, but her research is hijacked by a bioterrorist, Clyde Barker. Dr. Atkins, George, Lily, and Lizzie unite to thwart Barker's sinister plan, leading to a global adventure. Rampage 2 could explore redemption, teamwork, and the balance between scientific advancement and ethical responsibility, paying homage to the classic game while taking the story in a fresh direction. With Dwayne Johnson's charisma, action hero persona, and potential new characters, the sequel has the potential for even more intense action, spectacular effects, and a heartwarming story of friendship and overcoming adversity. This strategic approach aligns with Johnson's track record of success and his ability to draw audiences to the box office. His films consistently perform well, often sparking discussions about potential sequels. For instance, the success of Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle led to the development of Jumanji The Next Level, showcasing Johnson's commitment to franchises that resonate with audiences. The mention of the DC Universe indicates a broader scope in Johnson's career choices. The success of Fast and the Furious and Jumanji coupled with ambitious plans for the DC Universe, underscores his focus on projects with significant storytelling potential. This approach not only reflects his commitment to quality, but also acknowledges the importance of engaging and satisfying his fan base. The challenge of balancing sequels with new storytelling ventures emphasizes the industry's demand for proven franchises, while also highlighting Johnson's desire for creative diversity. By carefully selecting projects, he maintains a balance between fulfilling audience expectations for sequels and exploring fresh narratives. In essence, Dwayne Johnson's deliberate approach to sequels mirrors the changing landscape of Hollywood, where franchises play a crucial role in box office success. It showcases not only his star power, but also his keen understanding of the industry's dynamics and the need to strike a balance between fan expectations and creative exploration. However, it's worth noting that Johnson has encountered the challenges of video game-based films before, notably in 2005's Doom. 
In an interview with Collider, he acknowledged having experienced the video game curse in the past, providing context to his involvement in Rampage. Having already weathered the storm of a video game adaptation that struggled at the box office, Rampage presented a fresh opportunity for success. Johnson's confidence in director Brad Payton is evident in their successful collaborations, with Rampage marking their third project together. When discussing their partnership, Johnson expressed admiration for Payton's ambition, emphasizing the importance of taking bold swings in the entertainment industry. The actor's positive sentiments suggest a willingness to embark on another Rampage adventure if Payton were to propose it. While no official announcement has been made, the decision might hinge on Rampage's performance during its opening weekend, determining whether it can break free from the perceived video game curse. If a sequel does materialize, there's ample potential for an engaging storyline. The film introduces Okoye's closest friend, George, an albino gorilla affected by a new chemical from energy. This chemical transforms George and two other animals into towering killing machines. Energine's CEO orchestrates a plan involving a giant frequency transmitter, leading the monsters to rush to stop it, setting the stage for a high-stakes showdown in Chicago. The collection of Rampage at the box office could very well influence the decision to greenlight a sequel, offering fans the prospect of more monstrous mayhem and thrilling adventures with Dwayne Johnson at the helm. Let's talk about how much the movie and game are similar. The movie and the game have some similarities in their plot and action. Both feature animals that become giant monsters due to a genetic experiment called CRISPR. The experiment goes wrong and the animals are exposed to substances that alter their genes. They are attracted to Chicago by a low-frequency noise that is part of their DNA. Davis Okoye, Dr. Kate Caldwell, and Harvey Russell try to stop the monsters before the military bombs the city. Okoye's gorilla George is also a victim of CRISPR, but he helps Okoye fight the other beasts. The movie also has many references and nods to the game. The most obvious ones are the scenes where the monsters climb and destroy skyscrapers, which is the main mechanic of the game. The monsters sometimes cooperate to bring down the buildings, as if they are playing co-op. Okoye also uses grenades to attack Lizzie, which is a common weapon in the game. Some other scenes have more subtle references. For example, the opening scene shows a rat named Rhett, who is a mutated CRISPR test subject chasing an astronaut in a space station. Rhett is a homage to one of the Rampage sequels, Rampage Total Destruction. Another reference is the AR-10, or Warthog, which is an aircraft that appears in later versions of the game. The movie ends with a nice touch that is inspired by the game. George, who is now friendly and funny again, helps the people of Chicago recover from the disaster. He uses his hand to lower some people from a high floor of a building, which is something that the game allows. The Rampage game series features a variety of memorable monsters, including George the Gorilla, Lizzie the Lizard, and Ralph the Wolf. These giant creatures, once humans, were transformed through experiments and wreak havoc on cities, battling buildings and the army alike. Other notable monsters include Larry the Rat, Vern the Flying Fire-Breathing Creature, Eustace Demonic the Bouncing Ball with a Toxic Body, Rat the Shark-Dinosaur Hybrid, Ruby the Lobster, and Mayakus, the one-eyed monster transformed by an ancient spellbook. Possible ideas for a Rampage movie sequel include exploring the origins of the other monsters through different experiments, expanding the action scenes to beyond Chicago, incorporating more references to the game's elements, adding more humor and jokes, and introducing a plot twist such as George turning evil again or a new monster's appearance. And that's that for today's video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Your suggestions for future videos are always welcome in the comments below.